Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a grid on top of an image. Um, so the first thing that you are going to be doing is going over, um, open up Google on your computer. <coughs> You're going to go over to this little waffle up in the right hand corner where you can open up a variety of different Google apps. Um, and we are going to select Google Slides today. So you're on Google and you're going to select Google Slides. Um, once you open up Slides, you are going to open up a new or a blank presentation. And you have kind of now a blank slate to work on. So up in this right hand corner, uh, upper left hand corner, sorry, you're going to press insert. You're going to find the image that you want to add a grid on top of. Um, I have mine housed on my computer. You might have yours on a drive or in your photos. Wherever it is, you're going to upload. Select the photo that you want to use. Um, I'm going to drag mine over to the corner so that it kind of matches up with the presentation and then press enter or kind of click the screen. So our next step is we need to start to add in those uh, vertical and horizontal lines. So in order to make a grid, we're going to go back up to insert. I'm going to go down to line, click on line. And what this has done is it's turned my uh, cursor into a plus sign. So what my mouse is wanting me to do now is it's going to want me to click and drag on my screen in order to make a vertical line. So I'm going to be kind of using this, this grid up top here um, or this ruler in order to help me make uh, vertical lines. And I'm going to be using this grid or ruler on the side to help me make horizontal. So we're going to start off by creating vertical ones. I'm going to try to um, line them up with this halfway tick mark. So I'm going to press and hold, um, dragging my mouse down in order to create a vertical line. And you'll notice at the top of my screen uh, where I was pointing out that ruler before, there are three kind of vertical blue little lines. I, my goal is to try to get those stacked on top of each other each time that I pull down. So stacked on top of each other means your line is either completely vertical or completely horizontal, depending on which direction you are going. Um, so to make things a little easier, I'm going to change my line color to red um, or just a vibrant color so it stands out a little bit more. So I'm once again just kind of holding and dragging, making sure that it is lined up on that halfway mark. So for this process, we're going to be making a lot of uh, vertical and horizontal lines. So instead of going through the insert line um, and kind of dragging process each time, I'm going to click and select on this line. We're going to copy and paste it. So I'm going to press Control C on my keyboard and Control V, which is going to uh, paste an identical version of it. And I'm now going to line this up on that one inch kind of tick mark with, um, up, above, up, above, up above. I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to paste a line. And I'm going to go kind of every half, half inch. Um, and start creating those nice vertical lines across my page. <coughs> so each time I'm trying to line it up on either the halfway mark or that number above. So you would go and continue to go all the way across um, until your whole entire image is completely covered with those vertical lines um, and you are creating your vertical kind of columns. Um, 
Okay, so we're gonna continue to do the same thing, but when it comes to our horizontal lines as well. So you would go all the way across. I'm gonna stop just for time's sake. I'm gonna copy and paste one more line. Um, on the top and bottom of these lines, you'll notice there's a blue little tab. This allows me to click, and if I drag it, I can change kind of the direction that my line is facing. So same thing, I'm gonna be looking over on this grid over here and I can kind of control what angle my line is at. So I'm going to have all three lines stacked on top of each other. I'm gonna be placing these horizontal lines now every um, <coughs> half an inch going horizontally. So once again, I'm gonna now select this line, press Control C, which copies it, Control V, which pastes, and I'm going to start to create my vertical uh, grid going, or sorry, horizontal grid going down. Go all the way over. Some of these got shifted a little bit. Copy, paste. So each time that I'm pasting it, I'm just pressing Control V on my keyboard and it is pasting that image. So you would go keep going all the way down your image until you have um, a vertical and horizontal uh, grid that is placed along your image. So that is how you um, kind of create that um, as you are working you can kind of zoom in on your image and really see all of that detail. But that is how you add a horizontal and vertical kind of grid lines to an image that you have taken. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.